Avi, thank you so much for tuning in on the Radio Vision Network. I am Mark Cook. This is Busy Bade, and I am excited. I am happy, and I am thrilled because I got one of the top fashion designers in America sitting right next to me. Her name is Miss Christine Phillips, and she joins us live in studio, and she has brought models, and she has brought information, and she has brought the fashion tip to us here on Morning Coffee. Good morning, Christine, and welcome. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. How are you? Uh, we're doing well. We are excited that you're here because your journey has been one that has been really interesting, and I want you to let everybody out there know all about it. Okay. So how did you get started? Let's, let's start at the beginning. Okay, let's we'll start at the beginning. Uh, well, as you know, it's always someone's grandmother, you know? So, <laughs> it's always someone's grandmother. Yeah, so on my mom's side of the family, they were very, very creative, and they, they all sewed. So it was a part of my upbringing to sew. And it's weird because I did not like dresses when, and I still don't only wear them on special occasions, you know, I like pants and jeans and stuff. But uh, my mom would always take me to the fabric store, uh, my nana, uh, because you know the the mom on the mother side's nana and the dad side's what grandma. Grandma. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. It always works out that way. That's right. Yeah. I know. So we well, got to differentiate somehow. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You can't just, you can't have the same name for everybody. Right, right. So uh, my nana would make us clothes, make me clothes all the time, and my mom would take me to the fashion, fabric store, and I would hate it. It would take forever, you know. But I would always sketch, and I would always design. And then I, um, in high school. I took, you take the home ec classes, mm -hmm. uh, or when I, in the summertime when I went to my aunt's house, we would, um, she was a designer and sewed all the time, so I would sew with her. Yeah, so it started, it started that way. Okay. So it was planted way, way back. Yeah, that's cool. Now, was, was your mom like a seamstress by trade, or was no, it just something that she did? It was more, yeah. it was more a kind of out of necessity, I would think, yeah. right? Is, like, she, is, is, it, is she from the South, or where, 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 where was she from? Yeah, no, no. With, with Nana, you can go deep that way. Mom is just regular over here. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember from Jersey. Okay. Jersey. Oh, oh, all right. right. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I know, goodness. I wish I could give you some deep heritage. Oh, no. no. <laughs> We're from the same town. No. Yeah, right. There's no deep. There's no deep mystery here. It's okay. Yeah, we. I had family. We had family members who just. Who just. That, that's what they did. They sewed yeah. clothes. Yeah. They yeah. did the prints. Everybody. Like that. My grandmother. My grandmother. Right. Yeah. You learned a trade. That's what mm. you had to do. That's what Absolutely. you did. And uh, so then my mom. She sewed her. You know her mom and sisters. They were all creative and they still are. Mm. And um, she sewed as a hobby. Um, she used to do hair and then she became a parole officer. And okay. It was hilarious. Yeah, I can imagine. The story, the story she can tell. Oh my gosh. Like, that is so funny. That little voice. Does she have a little voice? You better stop. Right? Like. And she makes gift baskets. I'm like, Mom, I'm really good. That is so Happy funny. Happy parole day. Yeah. You know? yeah. I know. <laughs> but we knew not to, but my brother and I, we knew not to mess with her. Yeah, yeah, right? That is so funny. It's like like really cute in a way. It's so, it's so funny. But. So tell me, when you when you got out of school, were you designing for somebody else, or was was Which school, high school or college? Well, you tell me. All right, high school. All I did was I um, we did home ec classes mm -hmm. and everything, but mm -hmm. I've always designed and sewed so with my aunt. Went to college, party, 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 party. Um, had the I went to fa uh, fashion design college, uh, Philadelphia College of Textiles and Science. Oh, okay. Had a good time. Like I said, party, 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 party. Then it came to um, my eleventh. My um, no, junior year, second semester, uh, we had this class called Design Problem, Problem Solving. Mm -hmm. And so you had to design from uh, like a building in Center City or something like that. And it was this class that was pivotal um, to my all my life. Change your everything. mindset. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, completely. It's amazing how one class can do that. When yeah. you just kind of catch something that changes your, your whole game, yeah. your whole mindset. Yeah. So what was your project? What did you what did you choose to do? Well, and this is what I uh, teach. Um, I teach also, and I have a fashion camp, so this is what I teach my campers as well. Once you learn how to design, you learn from anything. You can anything. I can look at this carpet and I can design a line of clothing from the carpet. I can look at the wall and design a line of clothing from the wall. From the wall. So once you learn that you can do that, you will never run out of designs. Because mm -hmm. you can get just like you get writer's block, you can get designer's block. Right. I, if you just relax. <laughs> and you think, and uh, you start looking at what's around you, you'll always be able to design. 
So that's what happened. And besides the fact my dad was like, if you don't straighten up, <laughs> I'm going to you out. out. Yeah, that, that <laughs> happens you too. Be that normally, yeah. Designer. He's yeah. Like, you better be a darn good designer. You yeah. Know? <laughs> well, he's, you know what? You, I don't know. There's no luck involved, but you are a good designer. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like, I guess, a source of pride for him now that, hey, I was the one that got, I lit that match under her and got her going and got her on track to make sure that she's making the most of her talent. And it seems as though your parents had regular nine to five jobs. And although they sewed on the side as, you know, either just utility or skills, how do they feel about you making it a career? Like saying, this is what I want to do. Yeah. Like this is they, where I'm gonna be. Yeah, they, it was from birth. They knew, Yeah, they knew. I made my third grade teacher a handbag. She was sharp as all get out. <laughs> oh my goodness. She was a marathon runner. She wore stilettos every day to school. Wow. Her legs were like I want to say here. She was solid, falling pin, great wow. her legs. And she wore stilettos every day to school. And I was like, I like you. Yeah. <laughs> it's something about you I like. You know? <laughs> no, wait a second. We so both grew up at Cherry Hill. My third grade teacher didn't look like that. <laughs> we're, 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 I went to Malvern. Which school did you go to? Uh, I went to St. Peter Cell's uh, Miss Biscuit. So, Miss Biscuit. Miss Diskin! That's a big shout out to Miss Diskin. And, and, and her, her rolling pin legs. <laughs> and apparently her very stylish handbag. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So even back then. So I always, uh, I've always been artistic and always uh, should designed. It helps to have support. It helps to have the support of your parents. It's, it, it, you know, we live in a world that not everybody gets to have that, and it, and it really helps, and it, it really creates a nice environment when you're encouraged, because a lot of people with artistic talent don't get encouraged to go that way, and it's yeah. so sad, and it's such a depressing thing when you think about it, mm -hmm. to, to really actually pursuing what you love and, and being good at it and being supported in doing it. It's a really, really cool thing. Yeah. So, so hard road to tow, though. It yeah. is. Well, <laughs> no, it's not without its challenges, yeah. of course. But so, tell us uh, kind of that evolution after school, and you kind of you got your stuff together, so to speak. Mm -hmm. How did you? How do we end up here? Okay. Well, um, stuff together. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Have I had my stuff yeah. together? <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to be generous. I, you know. How did? How did? Well, no. This yeah, is yeah. okay. So when I got done college. What they don't tell you is that there's like a million of you. Right. You know, I might as well have been a model or a dancer. Right. Uh, because there's like a million of you in the world. So um, it was hard to get a job. Um, you know, I went to Manhattan and I went all over, and it was it was hard to get a job a job in the field. Mm -hmm. And so one day I was in. Well, each first of all, each one of my brothers were entrepreneurs, and I was late being become an entrepreneur. I was like the loser part, you know, I was late. They were already making money and everything like that. The loser part, it just took a little longer, it's okay. Yeah, a little longer, yeah. a little, I'm still young, but it's a little longer. So the, um, I had, I was in the TJ Maxx one day, and I was shopping, and I didn't like it because the clothes were all over the place, mm -hmm. everything was all smashed in, I couldn't find anything, and I was getting frustrated. I was like, this is like shopping in somebody's closet, right. I can't stand it, yeah. and I got mad. And so my brother Jay, he was like, well why don't you open up your own business? And I was like, I am. You know what? I am because I'm mad. Yeah. And so I opened up Chrissy's Closet. And that's what it was. <laughs> so that's how I started it. And so I had a store in Collingswood. And it was um, clothing that I bought um, from uh, manufacturers. Mm -hmm. And then in the back, I sewed and made clothing. So, like, let's say a teacher would come in and, her, uh, and she would need a suit for work. Or, you know, a lawyer would come in and she would need a suit. And then they would come back. Uh, because their daughter was getting married and they needed a mother, mother of the bride's dress or something along, along those lines. And so then it just grew from there. That's really cool. That's a really interesting evolution because I wouldn't necessarily think that that's how it could manifest I was itself. Mad. Yeah. I don't like... When, I don't like how there's no customer service anymore. Yeah. Oh, that bothers me. It, it, a lot. It bothers me. me too. But luckily, you did take that leap. That anger yeah. drove you into creating something awesome. And we do have to take a break, but okay. when we get back, We'll now be able to dive into your actual design okay. and some of your, your fashion sense, and we can talk a little bit more about that. Okay. Awesome, awesome. So thank you guys for tuning in. Stick with us. There is more to come. Simply Gents, located in Marlton, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facial, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, visit us online at www.simplygents.com. The secret weapon of a well-groomed man, Simply Gents.
When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717, extension 203. When you think of RV, think Alicia Kelly. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra Innings, where the game never ends. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Today's show is sponsored by Hargrove Demolition, your demolition experts. Hargrove is a family owned and operated business right here in the southern New Jersey area, bringing you 45 years of demolition expertise. Hargrove has all your demolition needs, from emergency demolition service to demolition equipment rental. Hargrove is one of the state approved recycling facilities right here in the southern New Jersey area. No job is too big or too small for Hargrove Demolition. Contact them today at one of their three locations. When I was injured, I couldn't play basketball for my entire sophomore year. After years of wear and tear, I knew something was seriously wrong with Deja's knee when the swelling wouldn't go down. Young athletes are still growing. They need specialized care only available here at Dayton Children's. I wanted the best care for Deja because I wanted her to return to the thing that she loves to do, and that's basketball. At Dayton Children's Sports Medicine, we're treating tomorrow's champions. Right care. Right now. Right here. Dayton Children's. Just right for kids. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Welcome back to Morning Coffee. I'm Diz and here with my co-host, Mark Cook. And we are still so lucky to have Christine Phillips of Christine Phillips Designs with us this morning. So during the first segment, we talked about your journey from a childhood fashionista designer to having your own boutique, 
Christine's uh, closet. closet yeah. Christine's closet, awesome. So tell us a little bit about your style of what you kind of categorize your design style, what types of clothes we could expect from you and things of that nature. Okay, well my design aesthetic is um, timeless beauty with like a flirty edge. So I like just a little edge to um, uh, basic designs, just so they're like timeless and you know stand the test of time. <laughs> I mean, um, I love that. I love that mentality. So you take the traditional, and then you twist it. Correct. That's like that. It, to, to, I don't know if you could tell about me, but that is absolutely <laughs> how I like to present myself. Yes. Yeah, so I it. love that. I love that concept. And I love that idea. Mm -hmm. So what's what are some of the specifics? Let's let's really get down. And, and look, and we're gonna get a little inside here real quick. We're gonna talk talk a little a little fashion. So so just bear with me. So, so He's ta ready. let's talk let's talk let's talk about some of the real specific stuff about what you like to do. And we're gonna see some of the designs coming up. So don't 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 worry about that. Okay. So let's go. Let's let's talk about. It. Okay. Well, I like uh, you know my design aesthetic is exact you know, uh, is um, timeless beauty, of course. So I have pieces that I show. I have my annual fashion show every year in uh, the first Saturday in February. So that's the I only have one a year because it's a doozy. It's oh, a big, yeah. Yeah, it's a doozy. Uh, we get out about 250 people, and it's a uh, sit-down dinner, big, large occasion, and uh, have vendors, and I guess eat like, like. Yeah, it sounds like a great <laughs> event, though. It's, it's, it really it's, does. It's grand. So uh, I show my executive chic. I like executive chic, and it's um because you can, you can look like uh, have business attire and an executive without looking like a man. Yes. So that's yeah. So it has it has a little flirty feel to it as well. But it's you, know, <laughs> you have to think about that. All right. So when we're looking at your clothes, we're looking at things that are right off the runway from your fashion shows. Two things people can wear to work out for cocktails. And yes. For upper weddings. Yes. Because you do the you do bridal gowns yes. or the uh, bridesmaid dresses. Yes. And things of that nature. So right. pretty much anything that a woman would want would to wear, wear <laughs> to feel you know well put together. Absolutely. Chic. Right. Stylish. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah. So, so executive seat, yeah. chic, special occasion, and bridal. I do. Okay. So I have a line that I show, a mm -hmm. line that I create and I come up with, and I present it. Mm -hmm. And then also I have customers because I'm a designer. So yeah. I have customers that come and say, "Well, Chrissy, I need uh, something for a wedding, or I need something for a red carpet." Mm -hmm. um, and I we create something. We create something together. Mm -hmm. um, it's a process. I listen. It's good to listen to your client because yeah. they'll tell you right. everything. You right. know. Yeah. Think you need to why you know I'd like this sleeve longer than this. I have a hunchback in the back. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, no. I mean, a lot of clients they have specific needs. Like if they need a look, everybody's very aware of their body and it's and mm, certain types. Absolutely. Like, look, I may need a little bit more fabric around my midsection than I do up around my shoulders. I don't, I don't know if that's a real thing, but <laughs> look, there's a lot of different needs uh, that people that people yeah, have. Yeah, different and we're, body types. Right. Yeah. Different body types. You know, you guys are like. You're, you're like trying to like attack me today, like over everything I'm saying. I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to speak in, in generalizations and kind of like, look, be, there are people that have different needs than, yeah, than others. I agree. Uh, she, it's just picking on me today. I don't know what's going on. She doesn't like any of my analogies. She's like, I don't know. You know what? It may be that I'm overly excited. Because I can tell. We have a model. Yeah, with you're. Layla. Yeah, bring, let's and bring. Should yeah. we bring Layla in? Let's yeah, bring Layla. You have to bring okay. Layla in, and Layla, then we can talk here. more about <laughs> the your your uh your techniques and more about the materials now this is beautiful Let, I tell absolutely me about this adore yeah adore this tell us about this is a very big thing right now everyone wants lace something especially yeah. the overlay so tell me a bit about your inspiration behind this design kind of how you put it together are these little flowers are they yes you hand sewed oh. no no that's part of the fabric it's a part, part of the, the fabric, fabric. The fabric. Yeah. okay uh -huh. so tell me a little bit about this this well, piece this was from this is from my fall 2016 collection okay. I showed it this February because you know you do seasons yeah. ahead. So I showed it this February at my fashion show called Benevolence. So uh, Benevolence Fashion Show, I named it that because um, to be benevolent means to have the desire to do good. Mm -hmm. And so I love that, and I love how people have the the desire to do good. Yeah. So um, what stemmed from that was you know uh, many pieces, and this was one of the pieces. And I like um, to be benevolent is to be humble mm -hmm. and to serve and help others. So serving is a you know type of work, but for other people. So this one has a it has a lot of busy work to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, the colors complement each other. Yeah. yeah so yeah. yeah. So I did a shawl. So it's still a simple design, 
but uh, added some creativity. Like what you're wearing is a simple design, but you have a lot of creativity going on. Right. Yeah. So you right. do good. So don't be jealous, babe. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. But but I really like what Layla what Layla has on because there's like different texture contracts chests as well mm -hmm. because. I've got, it, it, it is, it's a busy top, busy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah, like, it, it is, but it's not like distracting or overbearing. Mm -hmm. And then we almost simplify as we come down. And this is, that's, um, those are two separate pieces, right? The yeah. overlay. Yes. So t tell us about that a little yeah, bit. Well, you did great yourself. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm letting you keep going. Yeah. So, uh, yes, it's an overlay. It's a, I have a, a jade or emerald green underneath a gold lace. Yeah, mm -hmm. beautiful. And uh, so it, the color comes uh, punching through and it picks up the colors within the, uh, the bodice. Mm -hmm. And the bodice is shawled and draped and um, of the three dimensional flowers. Because the flowers, you can go anywhere with that, or uh, any way with the bottom with that. But the gold picked up the, um, the colors and the flowers and the green allowed the green to punch through. That's what I wanted for this. And I think the metallic from the gold helps to, because the, the, the shirts, it's, it's, oh, I'm sorry, the bodice is very shiny. It has a, a that, that silky kind of reflective um, aspect going on. I think the gold actually picks it up very, very well and enhances it, especially with the yellows. So, and I think that that's one thing that I, I value about designers. I, I cannot put patterns together to save my <laughs> life. It never looks right. And so I always feel as though when you have, when you're a great designer, especially when it's fashion, you can put things together that people normally wouldn't put together, and that's what makes you unique. And this is a wonderful piece to show it off. Do you mind turning around? Can we see the whole piece? Wow, and it's good. I that's one piece. Yes. Yeah. It's a dress. Wow, it's a dress. that's okay. Well, look, for for somebody that's untrained like me. It looks like it could be two pieces. That's you can put yeah, a nice belt that's, around that yeah, way. Yeah, that's awesome. Like, yeah, that's so there's a, there's a little bit of versatility there as well. Yes, oh, but that's you can cool. Put a jacket on. You can change. Mm -hmm. You can make it. You can uh, downplay it, and it also you can go for evening. Yeah. That's nice. That's, on yeah. Christine, I knew this was going to happen. We are like we're crunched for time already. I got to take another break. Oh my goodness! But okay. we're going to come back, okay. and we're yeah. going to talk all about your camp. You do this yes. awesome thing with this camp. This is so great for the kids. Okay. For the kids. For the kids. Okay. So stick around. We're going to take a quick break, but we will be right back here with more with Christine Phillips on Morning Coffee. Stick around. Okay. One, two, three. Tanker Consulting Services, a payment solutions expert, will show you how with a free, detailed, written analysis illustrating your cost savings. We usually uncover savings between 10 and 25% and sometimes more. We can help your business succeed by providing reliable and secure merchant payment solutions such as merchant services programs, point of sale systems, and ATM machines. TCS, one of the leaders in regional credit card processing consulting, offers electronic payments to merchants locally and nationwide through our preferred vendor programs. We work to keep business costs down with a comprehensive suite of quality products, services, and customized credit card processing programs exclusively tailored for your company. TCS is convenient, reliable, and innovative with customer service available 24-7, 365 days a year. Our in-depth industry knowledge, partnership strategy, and innovative processing solutions allow for a specialized approach to providing merchant bank processing with 100% full fee disclosure. TCS is one-stop shopping for all your merchant services solutions. Our clients save money 100% of the time. Trust Tanker Consulting Services, the knowledgeable, professional, and friendly provider of secure payment services. We set the standard by which others are measured. Call now for a free written analysis. 609-922-0201. If you haven't been to Speed Raceway, what are you waiting for? You want to live fast? You want to make every second count? Then grab the family. Round up the guys. Speed Raceway is 100,000 square feet of excitement, whether you're a kid or a kid at heart. Speed Raceway is the place for endless fun all summer long. Log on to SpeedRaceway.com or just get here now. And welcome back to Morning Coffee. Thank you for staying tuned because I'm this and it's Mark. And we still have Christine Phillips here with Christine Phillips Design. And I know we pushed right against the break last time talking about your design, seeing the gorgeous model. I loved that dress. So we do have a few pictures that you brought in. 
that we just wanted to scroll through real quick so that you can see a little bit more of the designs that Christine has. Every piece clearly has skill and care that went into these. These are absolutely gorgeous. Um, you guys at home are getting a better view than I'm getting right now, but I've seen them previously and these are wonderful. Well, what's really cool about it, Christine, is that you can see your art come through in, in your work and it's it's a creative eye and a creative, uh, you know, artistic value that you bring that, you know, it doesn't look like everybody else's clothes. It doesn't look like everybody else's designs. And, and it's such a, an important thing to be able to be unique and to be able to stand out in that crowd. And obviously I know that you, you do that. We like to, we like to think that we, we could do that, right? But your designs, they help people kind of step out of their comfort zone a little bit and, and feel that special and feel that that uniqueness that you're bringing to the designs. It's, it's really cool. Thank Talk you. about it. Well, I go from one end of the pers uh, perspective, I mean, uh, the spectrum. spectrum to the other end sometimes. Sometimes, like I said, sim sim simplicity, uh, timeless, uh, is always great mm -hmm. with a little flirty edge. So you just saw a black dress that had like a uh, arc cut out of it. That's very simple. This is my executive chic that you see right here. It has nice ruffles that go down, that are on uh, the side. Mm -hmm. But she's in a uh, nice men's uh, suiting mm -hmm. for I that like fabrication. That uh -huh. It's yeah. one of the supers. Yeah, I like that cool. term, executive chic. Yeah. It almost conjures up an image of like that old iron chic, the wrestler, the wrestler, like in a business suit, like in a business suit, and he's carrying his briefcase, and he's the executive chic, right? No, 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 that's totally wrong. That's totally oh, yeah, wrong. Yeah. But, but this this line, this executive chic line, it's really revolutionizing kind of how women are dressing in the corporate and professional mm -hmm. settings because yeah. your designs are totally appropriate and and um they fit that setting but they're also comfortable and stylish right so like women get to be like you guys are i'm kind of yeah. like jealous well, that you get, I, you you know, get this as, stuff as business women you're at meetings very consistently so i have to when i go into the office i mean we're in there you want to dress and you want to be appropriate but we're not guys like right. guys you can wear the same right. jacket the pants and change a tie yeah. and that's all new but women need that flexibility and you don't always want to have you see like exactly, i'm always coming in here with my babe. jacket on you yeah. know but you got it, it's, babe. it's and that's, that's it. perfect and to have the the line that caters to that especially right now and i feel socially as we're pushing towards more women being um viewed in the workplace as equal professionals having clothing that is specifically for you being a woman, yeah, not just that. Yeah. mimicking right. a man's right. suit exactly. and just putting in a tapered waist. Yeah, you're right. So that's I, a, that's I a good absolutely point. love it. I always say the boardroom doesn't have to be boring. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure if we're done the pictures, but I just want to make sure that we have time because good. I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> I, and I say this I, with, with no shame at all, I cannot create a thing. Mm -hmm. I can't create a thing. I was saying, you know, when I was younger, I tried to cut my jeans up during the summer to make skirts into it when that was actually cool. Not anymore, don't do it at home. Um, <laughs> but you apparently I can not only create, you can teach us how. Exactly. So you have camps yeah. um, that are fashion camps. Tell us a little bit about okay. that and then stay tuned because we're gonna see some of the, okay. the girls walk. Uh, well, in the summertime, I teach in my spare time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's a ton of that, right? Yeah. I teach uh, a fashion camp, and it's called Fashion University. Fashion University is fun, innovative, uh, all comprehensive camp for ages 11 to 17. So I basically teach them my four years of college, and we pack it down into three weeks. Wow. So yeah, they get real hands-on, um, real-life work. That's great. So they learn to design, and then they actually make, and right? They make their garments. Oh, goodness. That's un that, I don't know if I've ever heard yeah. of a camp that does yeah. a fashion camp that does that type of yeah. scenario. That's really cool. I teach them how to sew. They learn how to model. Mm -hmm. They learn about inspiration. Um, and they learn everything. So. Um, they can have a full comprehension about uh, fashion. Christine, how do I, uh, you know, before we get any further, how do I find out about it? How do I get well, involved? The camp is happening now. So we have mm -hmm. the next camp. It's in Philadelphia in Center City at 17th and Delancey. And it starts July 11th through the 29th. The camp okay. is three weeks, uh, nine to three every day. Um, okay. Yeah, I take them to Manhattan. We go to a showroom. We go to fashion yeah. exhibits, oh, Metropolitan okay. Museum of Art. Yeah, it's for really? three weeks. I take them all over. Yeah. Wow. Really? So they can how, how do I register? Okay, you can go to christinephillipsonline.com. Okay. And uh, you click on the Fashion University Summer Camp, and it's all there. 
Next camp after that is August 1st, and that's in Cherry Hill. That's August 1st through the 19th. That's in Cherry Hill, New Jersey on Kings Highway. Wow. Yeah. Okay, wait a second. So there are, there are three-week blocks, but you've got two blocks coming up, one in July and then one later in August. Yes. That's awesome. And we've got two, two of your campers here with us, right? It is. Yes. Come on in, ladies. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> so these uh, are two of your campers. They came in, they learned the, to design, and then they made the clothes that they're wearing? Correct. Yeah. That is so cool. What's yeah. your guys' names? I'm Megan. I'm Caprice. Well, nice to meet you, Megan and Caprice. Can we get a little uh, a little twirl and see the back? Look at this stuff. Oh. That is so cool. Now, they sewed these all themselves. They, Absolutely. They got the yeah. fabrics and everything? Absolutely. I teach them first how to get inspired. And then they sketch out a uh, like different sketches, and we pick two outfits or you know that they want to make. And then I take them all over to um, pick out fabrics because I want them to have a plethora of tools so they can do what's in their mind, so they can get out mm -hmm. what's in their mind um, into reality. So and I think that's very that's a key point is that you help them determine what's in their mind versus telling them, okay, today we're going to make an yeah. eight-line dress, yeah, you're and right. this is the pattern yeah. you're going to use. You're going they to say, what, what are you, what, what are you, what are you sensing? Like, what are you getting from this? How do you create yeah. that? And I think that that's very key. So uh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Did Each you guys enjoy did. yourselves when you? Yeah. How was it? Awesome, it was fun. Awesome. Well, that's great. You guys and look you, gorgeous. You think like all of your friends and all the other kids out there, they should probably do it too? Yeah, look at that. Christine, you see what I did there? Yeah, that was like yeah. the best endorsement we could get, right? These are the actual campers and they're saying how great it is. I, listen, go to ChristinePhillipsOnline.com, register for one of these camps. You're not going to regret it. These, you, you guys, they, they said it. You heard it from the actual campers how much fun it is. That's great. Christine, this has been uh, uh, awesome. We're so glad you came in. Thank you so much. We wish Thank you the you best guys. of luck with everything. I appreciate it. And then you're going to have to come back and, uh, and see us again. But Biz... One more, one more time before we go. Biz loves this part. Love She's going to give you the deal real quick. I love quick. this part because this is where we are able to get the viewers to go to you. So if you have camera number three, we're going to have you look into it and let them know where they can find your information, if, where you're at online, your social media if you have it, and any upcoming events that you want to make sure that they check out, you can say it right into camera three. We'll make sure that the viewers can keep in touch. Okay. Hi, I'm Christy Phillips. You can check out my website, uh, www.christinephillipsonline.com. You can see my collections there. You can purchase clothing there. I have a sample sale going on now. You can also register your child, ages 11 to 17, for my Fashion University Summer Camp. That's on my website as well, www.christinephillipsonline.com. And uh, it's happening July 11th through the 29th and Cherry Hill, New Jersey, August 1st through the 19th. Beautiful. She is Christine Phillips. You can check her out on ChristinePhillipsOnline.com. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes Thank with us you. this morning, Christine. We really it. appreciate Thank it. You. Support her. She is a local fashion designer, and she's about ready to take over the world, so get on board now. This has been Morning Coffee on the Radio Vision Network. I'm Mark Cook. This is Busy Bade, and we are so glad that you joined us this morning. Thank you so much, and we will see you again.